Sorry, I took a long time to get up here. Sorry. <coughs> I'm Vicki. I'm from Norfolk. And the title of my piece is Shazed Shell Amet. Rukatar Anoi Lohenu Melechawalam Sheetsani Beltsamo. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who created me in his image. The baby sits head gently lulled to the side, resting on the plastic bar that shapes the nest in which he sleeps. But although intact, the stroller is marred and wrong. It is horizontal. It is charred by the red lips of flame that just violently kissed this city corner, and that baby will never wake up. The seams of this scene are shredded, the stuffing of the bus extracted by an explosive wind. Its cotton ball contents lie strewn on the ground like nimbus clouds, thin, dark, and stretched to the point of separation until abdomens no longer have legs, ankles have no feet, and solitary hands lie palm up, fingers casually curled inward, like a student hesitating before asking a question because for a moment they lost their head. This is death. This is horror. This is hate. For Jewish and Islamic faiths, the only act more important than caring for the dead is saving a life. In 1989, an organization called Shazed Shalemet took it upon themselves to care for the victims of terrorist attacks. With neon vests zipped around their chest, these selfless volunteers begin to collect the mangled limbs and organs that coat the street, and they weep. They paint in the color of each portrait with dried blood scraped from boiled concrete, completing each with a frame of a body bag and a blue star of David crowning the shroud. They look upon the rows of figurines now made of wax. They see the cubist shapes of Picasso, eyes and ears in the wrong spots, and they weep, but they are not finished. They gather their chisels and paintbrushes and they piece together the final mosaic of a breathless muse whose chest is seared by the crisscross straps of explosives. They fill in the outline of the attacker with the same color red that flowed in the busted veins of those he destroyed. And when it is complete, they do not cover it with a canvas sky of David's stars, but instead they return that violent kiss with their own cracked lips pressed to the blank sheet in a silent prayer of forgiveness that is louder than any bomb because to them this broken sculpture was also created in the image of God. This is life. This is honor. This is love. Blessed art thou, o Lord our God, King of the universe, who created us all in his image. <laughs>